From the land down under, with the rock at its center, comes the little Aussie watchman. The floodgates of evil have been unleashed on the streets of Melbourne, Australia. On the busy streets of the city, another Muslim decides to mow down people in his car. So far, no one has died, although three are reportedly in a critical condition. No links to terrorism, repeat the news media. What they really mean is that they cannot find any connection between this individual and known terrorist organisations. What they fail to understand is he doesn't need a connection. Muslims just have to read the acts of Muhammad and try to replicate them to become terrorists. The no connection line is then quickly followed by the mental illness line. Of course, we all know that he was mentally ill. Anyone who tries to mow down people in his car is by definition mentally ill. But how many non-Muslim mentally ill people, i.e. being treated by psychiatrists, plough into crowds trying to kill people? I have never heard of it. It is purely a Muslim mentally ill person that does these kinds of things. The mentally ill Muslim is less likely to resist the demonic urges, urges of a satanic religion whose core texts are anti-Semitic and anti-Christian. Someone who is not fully aware of the leading of their conscience will start to take the Quran and Hadith literally. The timing here is of importance. This latest terrorist attack was within 29 days of the passing of the Victorian Euthanasia Law and 14 days from Australia passing the Gay Marriage Law. And for Melbourne, as the capital of a state who led Australia as being the greatest champion for gay rights, this terrorist attack comes two days after a house storm that has been unseen by many alive today and within 20 days of a storm that was billed as the storm of the century. God's hand of protection is rising from this land due to its legalisation and fascination of sin. As the media blames mental illness for this latest satanic act of barbarity, it fails to lay blame on the restless evil that causes mental illness in Muslims. That satanic story woven into the pages of the Quran and accompanying hadiths that call for violence, murder, rape and pillage. The media will of course also not link the passing of the two most anti-Christian laws in a generation of which only the decriminalisation of abortion is greater in terms of, of wickedness to this latest act of terrorism. One only has to look at the January 2017 car attack in Melbourne, which was perpetrated by someone who believed that the Muslim faith is the correct faith, to see that car attacks are heavily skewed towards Muslims who have mental illness. Unlike this recent attack, that Muslim mentally ill murderer killed four, six people and injured 29 others. As the veil of politically correctness once again covers the link between car massacres and Muslims, one must realise a few things. One, Muslims need to learn the truth found in Christ that will bring inner peace and salvation. Two, that their religion Islam is central to untold suffering around the world. And three, that the reason that evil has been able to break through into our civilization is because God's protection is being lifted away due to our country's insistence on distancing itself from God by thought and by action and by law. <laughs>